Hi, I'm Karen. Hi, I'm Natasha. And guess what? <laughs> We're newlyweds! Yes! <laughs> Just got married. <laughs> yes. Does two years count as newlywed? Yes, it does. I still think so. It it's, still feels like being a newlywed. You are, I believe, for the first two years. Y that's it? I think so. I'm and gonna, then you just have to keep have it alive. To, yeah, I was going to say, I have to be a newlywed all the time. All the time. I must be a newlywed. Even 50 years. Well, I agree. <laughs> I mean, four months. I can't wait to get I to two know. years. I know. The <laughs> countdown. Yes, yes. So tell me about your wedding. Well, it was simple mm -hmm. and elegant at the same time. It was beautiful in a back yard of a historical home, beautiful garden area setting, um, wonderful guests, uh, catered food, beautiful I gown. I saw your gown. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you looked so great. She looked amazing, you Thank guys. You. Amazing. Thank you. It was fun. It, it was fun. At the same time, it was very emotional. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. Yeah, I was. I made sure I had fun on my wedding day because a lot of times brides go crazy and I refuse to be one of those brides. I just couldn't You don't do want to be a bride. Bridezilla. Yeah, no bridezilla for me. So we had it in this nice Italian villa in the Palisades oh, and that's very small. It was like 75 people. It was wonderful. Oh, that's and my, the perfect number as well. My dress was black. Oh, now that's a twist. <laughs> what made you choose black? My mother and I, we went to look at dresses and I, the lady, they ask your personality. Right. And they're like, oh, tell me what dress type of dress you like. And so I just told her, bring me the dress that no one will put on. And she lit up. <laughs> she lit up and then she just ran. And she's like, I have the perfect dress. And so when she brought me the dress back, I put it on and it was the first dress I put on and I knew right then. Wow. And my mom, she's just like, that was the dress, I knew it. So I canceled all my other appointments and my dress was black. And somehow as ladies, we just know when we try on that one dress, that's the dress for us. Yeah. I felt that way about my dress. Oh. When I tried it on, I just knew this was the dress I was gonna mm -hmm. get married in, but then I wanted a separate dress for the reception. Oh, ooh, nice. Yes. 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 I like that. Yes. <laughs> and that's a good yeah, idea. You wanna let loose and you that. just wanna you know, mm -hmm. be comfortable because you have all this material behind you. Yes. And, yes. You, you know, when you're in the, you know, the reception in the mode of meeting and greeting or mm -hmm, dancing, mm -hmm. you just want to have something that's flowy, but not all that material hanging something on you. Something you can get your groove on it. Exactly. So the first four months, hmm? Yes, four months. What's the most exciting? Well, <laughs> I mean, you I know, know. Exciting <laughs> is knowing that I have that someone there to eat meals yes. with, to cook for that's going to lead yeah and I don't have to think about anything see I love that you I know? I remember someone asked me when I first got married um, how did it feel and to me it just felt like felt like it was a guarantee to me it felt like it was a guarantee like mm -hmm. it was um, guarantee meaning someone just has your back Absolutely. Uh, someone's always gonna be there for you someone that I can be there for so mm -hmm. I knew I had a partner for life, and, and I love that. And that's what you want, a partner for life, not mm -hmm. just for today. Right. Because today, it seems like so many gals are yeah. just getting married for the moment. Yeah. I think I think singles, they've been bamboozled. Yeah. Like, people aren't telling them the real, the truth about marriage. And they have this fairy tale. They've been taught about marriage through entertainment, movies. Mm -hmm. You know, I did. I could attest to that. Mm -hmm. The first uh, 40 years of my life or 35 years of my life, I thought that, you know, marriage was this thing that it wasn't. And I have some examples and some mistakes and failures. And <laughs> Well, I'm sure we all do, and I can't wait to hear about some of those, obviously, yeah. so that others can learn, mm -hmm. you know, from our mistakes. But, you know, that's all part of life. Yeah. Because that's how you learn and you grow. But also, I feel like I hear more and more people saying that they've given up on marriage, yeah. which is sad. Yeah, I've heard or, that. Or the only reason to get married is because you want to have kids. Yeah, I've heard that, and it's really sad. So, like, people want to bring sexy back. We want to be marriage back. Exactly. So Let's bring I just, it back. I think that bringing it back to a solid foundation, and it is the core of, you know, humanity, I believe. Absolutely. You know, because if the, the relationship with the spouse has to be great, so the relationship with the kids can be great, and it's just this whole cycle, and we're all connected. And I can't imagine being in the mindset of feeling negative about marriage. No, I can't either. And I'm really sorry when I hear single friends of mine say they've given up. 
Yeah, yeah, they need you know, to keep on meeting alive. someone. Now, how did you meet your husband? Oh, we met at a New Year's Eve party. That's wonderful. Yeah. So I remember I walked into the. It was at uh, Kennedy's godparents house which they don't live there anymore but someone else lives there i just like the way that sounds <laughs> so i it was a new year's eve party and i walked in and surprisingly he was the only person in the entryway right so i walk in and i'm just buzzing all over the place and i'm like do you know where i put my jacket you know all kind of light and fluffy and he just he was i did he approach you first or i walked in mm-hmm and I asked where do I put my jacket? Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, I don't know. But his, he did something where he looked at me like directly in my eyes for a period of time. So it's almost like, whoa, what are you doing? Right. Like that. Right. So I was thinking, who is this guy with the nerve to be all in my face? face? But that was what real connection is. Mm. And so you felt I noticed a chemistry. that. Yeah, I felt a little chemistry. And so we had this progression. You know, later we saw each other at the party and we exchanged numbers because I was doing a one woman show. And so he came to my show. So it was a slow progression, mm -hmm. a very slow progression. But the New Year's Eve party, and he had the mindset to take a picture. Yeah, so he's like, Can you take a picture? So we have a picture of the, our, we probably knew each other for 30 minutes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah, though. so we have that. And that, I like the fact that we have that picture. Yeah, that's a keepsake for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, I had to go online because no one invited me to any parties <laughs> <laughs> where I could meet someone that I actually really could connect with. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sorry I did because I went online and I was really lucky because yeah. that's how I met my husband. So there isn't anything wrong with going online. I think the secret is know what you want and what you write is very important and not putting pictures up there that are misleading or provocative because that's what you'll attract. But if you're really looking for that partner, you have to be wise. Yeah, yeah, I think online is great. I always tell my clients like going online is just another avenue of meeting people, mm -hmm. but you do have to be specific. Yes, you do. You can't be willy nilly. You can't be like, oh, I'm just gonna try it out. Like, no, you have to be intentional. Like, what am I looking for? And if I wanna attract that person, are they attracted to this, all that stuff? Cause you might be attracting the wrong person with what something you have on. And that's right. So. That's Stay so away from those bathing suit pictures. Yeah, don't Because what are you going to get when you have that on? Or the skimpy ones, just like, you know, the guys that are posing in front of the mirror, oh. showing their muscles or in their <laughs> undies. I mean, hello. Yeah. What's that telling me? It's not cute. No, it's not. I think it's, they're doing too much exactly. in my mind, but that's neither here nor there. But you're just going to attract <laughs> that type of person, though. Yeah. You're not really looking for a real relationship mm -hmm. to bond. Yeah. So online is not s as scary as some people think it is. I love hearing that. Yeah. That you met him online. Yeah, I did. There are success stories. Yes, there yes. are. I could probably list 10 friends who are married now. Oh, because from, of online. Because of online. There you go. I wish I had hoped that I would meet him one-to-one -one, because I'm a one-to-one -one person. Mm -hmm. But... I was just like sitting here waiting and the clock is ticking and it's like, well, am I going to be alone forever? Yeah. No. So, okay. Take qu action. Question. When you met him online, how long did it take for you to get offline? Well, I think I stayed online for a good three weeks at least after I met him. Okay. So you two interacted. Uh -huh. And then after the two of you interacted, mm -hmm. you know, like, hey, hey, I like you. When did you go out? Well, first, I always advise someone, if you meet someone online, you got to have some phone conversations first before okay. you meet. Because mm -hmm. you can tell a lot about a person from their voice. Yes. And you might have a conversation with them that might, you know, like, eh, they might say some things or you might find out you don't gel. Mm -hmm. And you can just like, okay, maybe that person's not for me. But if it is and you make those arrangements and you meet in person, then you can see if you have the real chemistry. That's Because you've already passed the voice test. Okay, so you met him online, then... Coffee date came But up. then you've talked on the phone first. Talked on the phone. Okay, and then so you met date. him online. How many days after you met him did you talk on the phone? Uh, was it the same see. night, two days later, a week later? No, it two was weeks? two. Two, two days? Two, yeah, yeah, two days later. Okay, so two days later, you guys are talking on the phone. Right, just a brief conversation, though. Then I didn't hear from him for a few days. Mm -hmm. Then I get this call out of the blue because he had just finished editing something. And I'm like, oh, now I'm important again. And <laughs> oh, he calls me up and he's like, okay, you know, you want to get together and do something. And I said coffee and he's, he decided to come mm -hmm. meet me over the hill. 
from okay, where I live, nice. you know, because he was in L.A., so mm-hmm. I'm here in the Valley. Mm-hmm. And uh, we hooked up. I love that. Yeah. Hooked up at the coffee shop. Exactly. <laughs> Nowhere else. Clarifying that. <laughs> yes, at the coffee shop. Hooked up at the coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> and it was great. And it was great. And I really enjoyed myself, but I still didn't know or mm-hmm. even conceive that he was the one. Mm. Now, supposedly, guys know right away. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I think a little birdie told know. me that he did know right away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> so for me, I wasn't quite sure. But, it, you know, we had a few more dates. And then I was like, okay, maybe I'll just stick with this one. Yeah. And then we both decided at the same time to get off it get offline oh I love that yeah I love that I think it's it's so important to have that connection you were saying that he didn't call you for four days yeah yeah it took my husband I think it was six weeks before he called oh, wow what was he doing <laughs> I, I mean you could I'm have moved playing. on and met someone right right I honestly slowness it's, it's so crazy so he got my number but he knew he was going to see me at my show which was four weeks later and then I think it was about three, three to four weeks. Well, it might have been eight weeks. Three to four weeks after that, then he called me. Right. But I think God was set, setting me up. Because oh. I was out. I was dating. Yeah, I was dating. Mm-hmm. Um, In the interim. Yes. And I got to the point where I was at a coffee shop with my girlfriend. And that day I said, you know what? I'm done. I'm handing out pink slips. I just don't want to play anymore because there was no one of quality to have a long-term relationship with. Right. So I told her that. And I went home, and that oh. night he called and asked me on a date. See, is it what? God it's always when you're at the end of your rope, something happens. Right? It's, it's, I don't know why that <laughs> happens that way, but it's meant to be. Yeah. Yeah, just when you thought, that's it. Yeah, and from that moment. You let go. That's it. You just surrender. I, I totally so surrender. Let go, let God. I, I totally let go mm-hmm. and let God. And we started dating, and from that point on, we were just together. And wow. when we we talked about it, I knew there was something special about him when we first met. Right. Um, but I didn't mm-hmm. think anything else about it. I was busy. Mm-hmm. Um, but he did say he had that spark when he first met. So guys, guys know. Yeah, they know. Sometimes they just take their time. Yeah, just yeah. a little bit. But in the, in the interim, don't give up. Do you know, keep the faith. Up. It's so important. Because marriage is yeah. real and alive. So yeah. is love. Yes. It's alive. It's real. And it takes effort. You have to be committed to the relationship. Well, that's how we met our guys. And we wish that for everyone. And we hope that uh, we imparted some knowledge on that we hopefully that you can use. Yes. Mm-hmm. Keep up alive. Yes. Bye. Bye.